This is one big secret. Guys, nobody knows except for this crew here right now. So as you're setting stuff up, just remember, do not blow the surprise. These kids have no idea this is happening, so their adrenaline is just going to be running. We have to be ready for three periods of hockey today of compete level. Play with pace, boys. Be aggressive. This is our freaking barn. I need to see lots and lots of energy and just shock these kids. All right, our camera's ready. Okay, let them finish warm up. They will come off the ice and then take it away, Phil. Good afternoon, hockey fans. Welcome to Toyota Sports Center for the Junior Freeway Face-Off. Featuring the Junior Ducks and the Junior Kings. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not just an ordinary game. Cue the band. Go, go, go. Welcome to the Toyota Sports Center in El Segundo, California. Kent French alongside Darrell Evans. We have the Ducks and Kings going head to head. It doesn't matter what level they're competing at, you know it's going to be a physical battle. Hockey is going at such a quick pace out here in Southern California. We've got some great talent out here. We are underway. We talked about physical play. Kings and Ducks, they don't like each other at the NHL level. Doesn't look like they like each other at this level either. No, I think it's something that's ingrained from a young age. We just gotta keep it simple. We gotta take care of our own zone. We gotta get that puck going north right away. Junior Ducks goal! Scored to number eight, Connor Reed. His second goal of the game. We're a team that tries to dictate pace, so um, hopefully we'll come out in the third and do that. I thought in that second period the Ducks did have more chances, they had more shots on goal, and whether or not that goal at the buzzer is going to be able to give the Kings that momentum carrying a third. Only time will tell. Oh! Score by number 13, A2 Solani. A2 Solani, he scores a game winner for the Junior Kings. What a goal that was by him in an opportune time. That was so surreal. I had no clue this was going to happen. I thought it would just be a normal game. A few, few parents in the, in the stands or whatever. But this is crazy. We had no idea that what was going on. Like when everyone, all the fans started running out from wherever they were. I mean, it was just, lights going, going down. It was just so, so surreal. Coming out on the ice and seeing all the, all the fans, it was kind of cool. I had no clue that was going to happen. Honestly, it was unbelievable. The whole celebration after was something that I'll, I'll always remember and it's something that I can take away. Even I got caught up into it a little bit there but I, I just thought it was a fantastic job um, with the details and I think the awareness for hockey and, and just growing grassroots this is exactly what we need. It was great. 